Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. Proper training and safety practices start with you, the supervisor. Elevator World has put together a package to help you keep safety first. The supervisor's safety first package includes a manager's safety notebook, the seventh edition of safety meetings, and the service safety in the elevator industry DVD. You'll also receive a free one-year digital subscription to Elevator World magazine when you purchase the Supervisor's Safety First package. To place your order and for more information on these products, visit elevatorbooks.com by clicking on the link in the show notes. This is your daily industry news update for March 2nd, 2017. In today's news, Juicy Herlin is promoted to Kone Vice Chairman, Elevator inspections are lagging in California, and Elevator World will focus on safety systems for the May issue. At its annual general meeting on February 28th, the Kone Board of Directors re-elected Auntie Herlin as chairman and elected Juicy Herlin as vice chairman. A member of the board since 2012 and a deputy member of the board in 2007 through 2012, Juicy Herland is Senior Business Analyst, Strategy Development at Kone. He previously served as a consultant at Accenture in 2012 through 2014. He's also a member of the following boards, Security Trading Oi, the Tina and Auntie Herland Foundation, the Technology Industries of Finland, and the Supervisory Board of the Finnish Fair Corporation. A Fox 2 News investigation found that elevator inspections across California and in San Francisco are lagging, with more than 10,000 of the state's approximately 150,000 elevators having, quote, outstanding issues. The state, which is responsible for inspections, said by the end of 2016, 11,252 elevators, 756 of which were in San Francisco, had issues ranging from a broken light to a poorly maintained hoist rope. Inspection certificates were found to be anywhere from eight months to more than four years expired. Some building owners said they had current certificates but had not yet posted them. The San Francisco Fire Department performed 836 elevator rescues in 2016, a 40% increase since 2010. Still, a state spokesman said he doesn't believe lagging inspections are a critical issue. California has a total of 70 inspectors, with eight in San Francisco and an additional three in training. Elevator World's May issue will focus on safety systems, including new technology, engineering, and training. May will see bonus distribution at the Canadian Elevator Contractors Association Convention. The deadline for submissions is March 15th. To participate or for more information, contact the Elevator World Editorial Department at phone number 251-479-4514, extension 30, or email editorial at elevatorworld.com. To advertise, contact extension 38 or advertising at elevatorworld.com. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to find and connect with us on LinkedIn. You can follow our company page or join our elevator industry group by clicking on the links in the show notes.